<laughs> ah, okay, we'll do it recording this time. Are you recording it? Yep. Ha ha! Ha ha, jingle. Yum yum. Baby Bell. It's episode 29 of The Tuesday Show with CJ and Ted. And this week it's all about cheese. Say cheese. Cheese. It's all about cheese. Hi, Ted. Hi, CJ. How are you? Good. Thank you very much. Do you love cheese? Oh, I love cheese. I love cheese too. Love cheese. <laughs> like, if there was any food that I had to live on for the rest of my life, like yeah. if, if somebody said you couldn't eat anything except this one thing, yeah. cheese. Really? Mm. I don't think you'd get very far, though. No. Oh, I mean, I'd, I'd die of malnutrition. It would kill for you. For sure, yeah. Although, interestingly, I think you can actually survive on a meat-only diet. I think you can, yeah. You can, but not cheese-only. No. Not for very long. No. It's, it's, I say it's just all nutrients that you need, yeah. Yeah, that's you know, right. isn't yeah. it? Um, yeah. Oh, well, there you go. There you go. There you go, folks. That's cheese. <laughs> that was episode 29 <laughs> of the Tuesday Show. Of the Cheese said. Show. We should just do a cheese show. Cheese show. All about cheese. Mm. So, anyway, we're going to be talking about cheese. Yes. We are also, get this, we're also going to be eating some cheese. What? What? Wow. Wait Wowie. Now. Whoa, yes. Indeed we are. <laughs> have, have I died and gone to heaven? <laughs> <laughs> no, you've died and gone to heaven that is known as the Tuesday Show. The Cheese Show. The Cheese J. The Cheese J. Cheese J- <laughs> the Cheese Day Show. <laughs> with, cheese. with Cheese J and... She says Cheese Day on the Cheese Day Show. show. Sure. <laughs> anyway, talking to she, let's have some music, shall we? And um, sure. we'll have Shidiza. Or Shidiza? How do you pronounce I'm gonna that? I'm going to say Shidiza. We'll call... Oh, okay. You, I'll say potato, you say potato. Sure. No, let's say sh- Shidiza. Or potato. I don't know. Take a pick. Anyway, the track's called Tonight. Let's listen to it. Thank you. 
Shadiza with Tonight, the Marco Van Duke remix. Wow. Mm, that's the one thing I didn't write on the track list for you. Oh, there you go. So there you go, the Marco Van Duke remix. I like that one. Uh, what did the cheese say after he got attacked by several several blades? I don't know. I felt greater. <laughs> 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 just let that one sink in oh, for a minute. Dear. Um <laughs> you know that you know the phrase it's the best thing since sliced bread. Yeah, yeah. I now think it's the best thing since grated cheese. I think you're right. Because now you can buy grated cheese, mm. ready grated. You can, yeah. That's better than sliced bread. I can't think of anything greater. In- indeed. <laughs> <laughs> but no, seriously, who hasn't got a bread knife? Uh, true. So I would much rather buy bread that wasn't sliced and slice mm. the slice the slice off. And then dump some ready grated cheese yeah, on, man. then have ready sliced bread and have to grate cheese. See, that's the, and I find, I mean, I have, I have a cheese grater. Yeah. But when I'm making like cheese on toast, for example, I just prefer to slice it. Just, it's easier. Yeah. Yeah. Than messing up a whole freaking cheese grater. Just but slice it. it just indeed, one knife. Yeah. You know, but it never comes out even. I'm crap mm, at mm, mm, slicing mm. cheese. Have you ever cut yourself with a cheese grater? No. Oh, thankfully. It's, it's not nice. Is it not? Oh, no. I imagine it's a bit sore afterwards. Oh, you know, it is like, a little. Um, yeah. yeah, get like little skin flakes in your grated cheese. Oh, and yeah. Blech. Oh, dear. Oh. Oh. Have you ever caught... <laughs> you... No, I won't go there. <laughs> I, I can't think of a situation where <laughs> situation. Where, where your family jewels would be near well, a cheese grater. I, I fell on a cheese grater and... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> um. And suffice to say, I have a nice smooth. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Insert your own jokes. Yes. Insert joke here. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of insert joke here. Oh yes. How do you eat cheese, crumbly cheese in Wales? I don't know. Carefully. Oh right. Very good. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't that good. <laughs> you didn't laugh, so it couldn't have been that good. <sighs> <sighs> no, it's when you have a joke and somebody says, "Oh, very good." You know, it's not quite yeah, funny. Exactly. Yeah. We'll cut that. Okay. And, uh, and move on. <laughs> we'll grate it. We'll grate it out. Yes, we'll, 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 we'll slice that from the uh, from the show. And uh, So, Ted, what yes. is your favourite kind of cheese? My favourite kind of cheese is... Oh. Well, I'm sure we've had this conversation we've before. Probably, well, I'm sure we have many times. But seeing uh, as today is all about cheese, we can ask it again. I think... Um, I don't know. I, I like Cheshire cheese, like crumbly white stuff. Yeah. Um, but I like blue cheese. I like melted camembert. I yes. like, yeah, baked camembert mm. with bread in it. Oh, lovely. And what else do I like? I like soft cheese. I like hard cheese. I mm. like I like all cheese. I say, I just like cheese. Yeah. I know a few that I don't like. I'm not a fan of the blue cheese. Mm-hmm. I'm not a big fan of baked camembert. I, think, I, I, know, I know we've spoken about it before. Oh, you say it's got an aftertaste. It, it had a funny, uh, the last time I had it, it had a yeah. funny aftertaste, yeah. and it just wasn't quite my, to my taste. Yeah. But you can never go wrong with a good cheddar. No. And you can't go wrong with thinking, you know, Red Leicester. Yeah. Edam. Yeah. You have your mainstream cheeses. Yeah. You just can't go wrong with them. Yeah. You really can't. Edam, of course, which is made backwards. Yes, it is. Mm. It is indeed. Mm. Um, I had loads more jokes about that, stuff like that but I, I'm trying to limit the number of cheese jokes I come out with. I'm staring at a whole page of them. So. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm trying to limit them. <laughs> Anyway, mm. what we're going to do is we're going to have some cheese. Yes, we are. Because I've got some cheese here. That's right. Because, well, so the lead up is yeah. we spoke about cheese before and we it was did. about the cheddar baby bill, wasn't we did, it? We did indeed. Because I told you that you can now get cheddar baby bells. Yes. And this is a revelation. I and I didn't believe you. I hadn't seen them before. No. And also, I did mention the fact that they were very nice. Well, right. we have our money where our, we have our cheese where our mouth is. Yeah, we're going to put our cheese in it where we're our gonna, mouth is. <laughs> we're going to literally put cheese in our mouth. Yeah, it's going to be great. Oh, it's going to be great. Anyway, I'm just going to take this out of its net. Right. What uh, do you do, catch it from the ocean or something? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> well, no, you know, baby bells always come in a net. Yes, that's true. Yeah. I, was, I, was oh, trying, I was trying to make poor, a joke. Poor, but... poor old Annette. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, um, I'm, I'm sure she enjoyed it. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I've got some, uh, that's a cheesy joke. Uh, I've got the the cheddar version here. Uh huh. I've got the standard ones. Yeah, the standard so we do, we, we can do a comparison. Yeah. I'm going to open these ones as well. Mm-hmm. I'm just going to get lots of baby bells out on the desk. Yeah, why not? Yeah. Take before we start dishing out. Take a photo, and we'll, we can insta it later on. Oh yeah, that's a great idea. Um, yeah, people take uh, inst- uh, photos on Instagram of their food. Exactly. We can do the same. Yeah, but just with a pile of baby bells. Yeah. I was like, well, if we split them fifty-fifty, I'll take my own photo. We and, are uh, definitely living our best life here. I know, right? Okay. Let what me. What a time to be alive. What a time to be alive, and what a time to eat cheese. And I'm arranging them now 
beautifully, as you'll find out when you look on Instagram mm. and you'll see this and you'll wonder what it's all about because this episode won't come out for a couple of weeks. No, it's fine. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what was that cheese about? Yeah. Um, now, hold the phone, Ted. Hold the phone. Because I've just spotted something that you're in your arrangement. Oh, yes. That we have not mentioned yet. Oh, yeah. And I am intrigued. You are intrigued. And do you know what? I'm intrigued as well, because I've never actually tasted one of these. But what you can see, um, what, of course, the viewers can... Uh, viewers. If sure, you, what the if, viewers ca- cannot see. <laughs> if you were viewers, you would actually be able to see it. <laughs> yeah. Having said that, you are slightly put as a disadvantage because you are listeners, mm. which some might say is the case when you listen to this. <laughs> <laughs> you are at a disadvantage because you cannot actually see yes. um, what I've got here. And what I've got is a mini baby bell mm. in an orange Ooh. wrapper. Orange. So what is a mini baby bell in an orange wrapper? I'm going to tell you in just one minute. Okay. Because I'm just going to take a photograph of well, these... Oh, that looks fantastic. Well, that looks, I'm just looking at a pile of mini baby bells mm. on Ted's desk. Mm, it looks yeah. great. Mm. And my microphone's in the way. Yes, it is. <laughs> and there we go. One more. Hang on a minute. Say cheese. Cheese. <laughs> okay. This is great content. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, the great content is this cheese. Right, let me tell you what this is. In an orange... Mm-hmm. Uh, packet. So obviously the red is the standard e down. Red is red is your standard e down. Yeah. Your standard baby bell. Purple is the cheddar one, which Purple we've discussed is the cheddar. before. Yeah. Okay. And now we have right. an orange one. The orange one is mm-hmm. drum roll. Gouda. Wow. Gouda. Yeah. Gouda. Gouda thought it. Yeah. I wonder if it tastes gouda. I don't know. Gouda times, eh? Yeah, gouda thought what you know. So, I've got this lovely pile of baby bells. We've got loads of cheese here. Great. I wonder how much we're actually going to eat. 50-50, let's have it. <laughs> right, it's not going to be like the it's not going to be like the biscuit episode, right? No, we're, no, no. we're not going to start seeing how, sure? much, how much cheese we can stuff in our mouths. Are you sure? I feel I feel there's a challenge there. I tell you what, um before... <laughs> Oh, Should we have some music before we do let's, this? Let's go to some music. Okay, so the next track we've got... Um, it is my intro, isn't it? It is your it intro. It is my intro. Thank goodness for that. So the next track that we've got comes from the Cranberry Merchants. This is Going Nowhere. <laughs>
And that's the cranberry merchants with going nowhere. Mm. Mm. So it looks like we've been to the uh, cheese merchants. Yes, it uh, does. With all this cheese. Now, how many bits have we actually got here? Uh, it's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-one. 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 That's not divisible by two. That is not divisible by two. Okay. Well, uh, shock. We'll have a bonus one, and that can be a prize for something. <laughs> okay. Right. Okay. So we've got an equal number of red ones. Yep. Edam. Yep. We haven't got an equal number of the other ones, though, because we've got the cheddar one. But let's, let's try some out, shall we? Let's okay. put those in the middle. So what we'll do, first of all, mm-hmm. is we'll have a red one each. Yep. Yep, let's do that. Chuck me a red one. So I'm going to chuck you a red one. Yep. Hey, there we go. Thank you. Oh, you could hear the catch on the microphone. That's yes, indeed. Good. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. Oops, sorry. Oops. Mm. Ba, 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 baby bell. So I'm sure you want to tell the joke again, so I'll let you do it. Which one was that? The baby bell joke. Oh. This will be the, the third hearing on uh, on the Tuesday show. So but, it's, it's okay, it's a it. running joke for season two. We're, we're good. <laughs> so how, do, how does Mr. Miyagi eat his baby bell? Oh, gosh, I don't know. How? Well, wax on, wax off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm already waxed off. Well, my wax is falling apart. So. Is it? Hold on. Uh, there we go. Oh, you haven't got the skills. I do not have baby bell skills. I've got my bell out. <laughs> what? He actually went there. <laughs> <laughs> I have my bell in my hand. Yeah. Unwaxed. <laughs> unsheathed. <laughs> God. You started it. <laughs> oh, what are we do? Um, are we just going all in, or uh, yeah, or, or the... are we going like full moon, half moon, total eclipse? Oh, I don't something? know. What should we do? I'm um, just going like I'm just I'm just going easy. All right. Mm. You don't seem pleased. Mm. Of course, I'm pleased. All right. This is my this is my face of why don't I spend all my time eating baby bills? <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. What have I been missing this, out? This on? This is so good. Yeah. Mm. Mm, that's good. Mm. Mm. Do you like me some Edam? No, that's a standard. Baby bill. Mm, that's the red one. So mm. a red baby bill. Now that's great. Mm-hmm. Okay, and obviously it's it's kind of mild. It's nice. It's it's comfortable. Yes. So we started with that because it basically clears the cheese palate. Yes. Let me pass you over this. Now this is the purple. Yep. Thank you. Obviously the cheese itself is not purple. Are we sure? Uh, we haven't opened it yet, so we don't know. Well, I know. Because I've I've had one before. Okay. Well, the wax is the wax is purple. The wax is purple. I'd forgotten yeah. about that. It kind of makes sense, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> so we've got purple wax. So how does Mr. Miyagi eat his cheese? Or eat his baby bell? Um, purple wax. Purple what? Wax on, wax off. <laughs> Just wax on, wax off. I'm going to say it every time we open a baby bell. Are you? Really? Yeah, really? Okay, really. you're going to get there. And there we go. What do you think? I mean, it's not... I think it's a little bit... Um, it's a bit more yellow than the Edam. It is more yellow than the Edam. It looks more like a moon. Yeah. Full moon. Yes. And just to remind our listeners, mm. this is cheddar. Yeah, so cheddar baby Purple bell. means cheddar. Yeah. Total eclipse. I have Jaffa cakes in it. Mmm. So. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. It's had an amazing idea. Mmm. But we'll come to that in a minute. That is very cheddar It tastes like cheddar. Oh, yeah. As one would expect. It's a tasty cheese. Mmm. They've not made it too bland. That's it. It's not too overpowering. Mm. It's not... Mature, yeah. It's kind of it's kind of a medium, a medium also, mild to me. I'd probably go for a number two on the 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 strength well, scale. Then. <laughs> <laughs> not a code brown. Come on. <laughs> um. Yeah, it's not too overpowering. Mm. It's a nice cheese. Yeah, that's very nice. I'm I'm, that. Yeah, please. Mm, mm, mm. Pleased with the cheddar baby. Bell. Pleasing cheese. Now the pièce de résistance. Uh, indeed. So the yellow. Or the orange. Yep, is that can... yellow or orange? The packaging is orange, but I get, I get orange. the impression. Okay. One, two, three, yep. There we go. I get the impression the wax might be yellow. Mm. Yes, the wax is... Wow, that's a like a neon that yellow. That's crazy. That uh, almost looks like a slightly bigger baby bell that's already been undressed. Yes, that's a very yellow... I'm going to take a photo of it just to kind of show how yellow it is. Yeah. Next to the orange packet. It's not quite the same shade as the yellow on your hat. No. No, my uh, this is more of a gold on my hat. Do you know what you could do with these? We could create a traffic light system. Oh yeah, yeah. Although there isn't a green one. So baby bell, you now need to create a green baby bell. What would be the cheese and a green baby oh, bell? Wow. Uh, Answers on a postcard to the Tuesday show. Yeah, that's, yes, they get the listeners. To, yeah, uh, to and tell then us. we can start an appeal. The, we'll call it the the green cheese appeal. <laughs> um, the the, uh, the green wax that you appeal. Yeah. 
to uh, get the cheese out. Indeed. I'll tell you what we'll do. We will eat this cheese. Let's report back after this next track. The Delirium Trees with Back Through the Door. And we're going to eat this cheese. Nice. Fantastic. I just want to say, it smells good. <laughs> Delirium Trees back through the door. Um, that was quite a good a track. Yes, it was quite a good a track. <laughs> Sorry, it's going to happen all the time now. Yeah. I, po- I apologise. <laughs> Actually, no, I don't. Screw the lot of you. I, I, I love cheese jokes. <laughs> 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 Although we did get away with eating the Gouda without you telling the same uh, Mr. Mickey Mick, 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 Mr. Mucka 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 Mucka. Mr. Miyagi. Mr. Mickey. How, how, how does he eat his Gouda baby? I'm well? not even, I'm not going to buy into this again. <laughs> you sure? Yeah. Bikes on, bikes on. So, 
<laughs> I was hoping you were going to sit there and stew and then eventually just cave and go, what? How? How does he eat it? I can't take it anymore. <laughs> oh, dear. So what do we think then? I thought it was pretty gouda. That was pretty gouda. It was. Um, in you know, in every sense of the term, mm. it, it tasted like gouda. It did. As I expected. Yep. Um, but I also forgot what gouda tasted like. Yeah, so it's, been, it's been a while since yeah. I've had it. Yeah. It's been a gouda while. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Christ, Lord, give me strength. Mm. Um, <laughs> Gouda, Lord. Gouda, Lord. Gouda, <laughs> Lord. Uh, uh, classic seventies TV show. Yes, the Gouda Life. Yeah. What do you call a cheese that doesn't belong to you? I don't know. Nacho cheese. Nacho <laughs> cheese. <laughs> What's the cheese's favourite TV channel? I don't know. The Brie Brie Cheese. The what? Brie Brie G and BBC. Oh, I see. Oh, okay. No, not always at BBC, not always. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cut that bit out. Yep. <clears throat> um, yes. Nacho cheese. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. Everyone laugh to make this seem more uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so the Gouda was Gouda. Yes. Well, uh, like I say, I enjoyed it. I forgot. It's been a while since I've had Gouda, mm-hmm. and I am... Um, Pleasantly surprised. Okay. Um, so, yes. What do we do with the rest of the I cheese? I don't know. We've got 15 cheeses left. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I guess we we'll have to take some of them home. We'll, we'll have to. I, I don't even think I can eat that much cheese right now. No. I mean, we had quite a sizable uh, dinner. So. We did, indeed. We are actually doing this after um, yeah. a big dinner. We, did have, we didn't even yeah. consider the fact that we'd be think, doing no, this, no. This, this segment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we had no idea this was going to happen until no, we went right. to the shop after dinner. And That's then, right. Ah, Baby Bell. <laughs> let's, let's have a truckload of Baby Bells. Yeah, let's just be buy great. an absolute <laughs> ton of cheese. Absolute ton of cheese. I've, I've only had a mixed grill. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Time for some, uh, so, no, I had some what, Baby Bells. I had what they call a full Monty Burger. Full Monty Burger. What was in your... Did you have cheese in that? Uh, actually, no, there was no cheese. That's, I'm shocked, actually. Yeah. I'm going to have to have a word of them. Because it's got, it's got two burgers. It's mm-hmm. got bacon, hash browns, onion rings. Yeah. But no cheese. Yeah. It's got an egg. No cheese. No cheese. Where's the cheese? Okay, what food would you not have cheese with? <sighs> That's a tough one. It is. Because a similar question is, mm. can you think of a food that cheese does not go with? That is the same question. Mm. Well, there's a difference between what I wouldn't have cheese with and what cheese doesn't go with. Oh, I see. What would you have cheese with that nobody else would? Oh, that's a fish. Frosties. Fish. It's the first thing that came to my head. Fish. Okay. Can you have cheese with fish? I don't know. Let me think. Yes, you can. F- filet of fish. Filet. Yeah. yeah. Filet of fish. Filet of fish. I've been yeah. like cheese in it yet. Do you often have a filet of fish? No, I don't like fish. Oh, that's true. Yeah. However, you just said frosties. Yes. I mean, that wasn't a serious contender for a cheese meal. Well, I don't know, but but it's one of them because because somebody once said to me, ice cream. Mm. Ice cream's probably the only thing you couldn't have cheese with. Mm. But what about mascarpone? Mascarpone would go with ice cream. Would it? Apparently so. I don't yeah. really know what it is. What about cheesecake? Cheesecake has got cheese in it already. Yeah, that's true. So yeah, that's that's what I meant. I mean, but, it's cheesecake. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Ice cream and cheesecake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. So okay. Um, cereal. Yeah, so I'd <laughs> probably say a slab of. <laughs> like... Would you have cheese with cheesecake? Um, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, maybe <laughs> just slap some red Lester on there. Yeah. So. Mm-hmm. <laughs> cheese. You'd have cheese with fruit cake. Yep, that's a that's quite a common thing. Mm-hmm. Cheese and chip, cheese and chips. Yeah, cheesy chips. Yeah, cheese. It just goes with the taste. Yeah, everything. It goes with everything. The yeah. only thing, I mean, I personally, I mm. wouldn't have cheese with a breakfast cereal. Right. <laughs> <laughs> just you personally. Me personally. Okay. All right. But I'm sure somebody somewhere you, you're going to has... go out there on a limb and say that you're one of those people that yeah. wouldn't have cheese with a yeah. I'm pretty sure thing. someone somewhere has probably thrown some like mascarpone onto onto their frosties. Very possibly. Uh, where do you think cheese fits in on a breakfast menu? Well, a double slush and egg McMuffin, really, isn't it? Oh, that's true. Yeah. Or you know, double bacon. Or... So there's no meal you wouldn't have cheese. No, you could have cheese for every meal of the day. You just have cheese on toast for breakfast. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I've done that many a time. That's true. Cheese on toast for breakfast, cheese on toast for dinner. Cheese and, is a good um, snack as well. Yeah. So between meals, you can have cheese. Yeah, grab yourself a baby bell. You yeah. can have cheese all day long. You could. Mm. Anyway, I had an idea about baby bells oh, yeah. uh, earlier on, which I said we'll come back to. So we'll come back to it right. now. Right, okay. Um, you could get, you could make like little pastries. You know, like ravioli, like which is like pasta with little meat in the middle. Yes. Is that, is that ravioli? Yeah, that's ravioli. Yes, I know what you mean. You could do something similar to that, but with like pastry and just stick a baby bell in the middle. I like the idea of that. And then cook it. Mm. Yeah, because you can get that pre-made pastry. Yeah, so you get like whole slabs of pastry. Yes. Get a load of baby bells. Yeah, 
Yes. We might be onto something. Jeremy Clarkson's come in. Yes. 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 Power. Cheese. <laughs> Cheese. Cheese. Hammond. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's great. I had. I remember going to uh, going to Greece mm. or going to Crete and having what they call little cheese pies. I mean, they probably called it yeah. something in Greek, but they they called it. I'm guessing that was like feta. Um, yeah, or... I don't know. But anyway, it was little cheese pies with little pastry mm. parcels filled with cheese. Now we really need to do this. We need to get some pastry and wrap baby bells in pastry. Mm. Or there is an. I have had another idea. Yeah. So going back to the camembert conversation. Oh yeah. Well, I don't like the aftertaste. Now mm. that came from deep fried camembert. Oh yeah. Which it was basically like you know flour, breadcrumbs, and then deep fried. Right. I think we could do that with baby bell. Deep fried baby bell. Mm. Literally just give it like a very thin egg wash just so we can pick up then you know a bit of flour, a yep. bit of, bit of um, breadcrumbs, deep fried. Yeah. Or what about batter? Or batter. You batter them, yeah. Well, I wonder if we could find a... Um... Right. No, stop the recording. We're going to the chip shop and we're going to get them to batter these mothers. <laughs> batter them and fry them. I'm not even joking right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not joking. Let's do it. Let's walk around to the chip shop. <laughs> I'm joking. Yeah. Anyway, moving on. Moving on. Moving on. The cheese moo yeah, cow. Cheese yeah. moo cow. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Milk. <laughs> milk. Milk. <laughs> milk. <laughs> milk. <laughs> right. Let's have classic track for yeah, today. Let's shall have we? a more classic track, please. So today's CJ. classic track comes from Buzz and Guitar. Buzz and Guitar. Who we Bazinguitar. haven't heard from for ages. So Baz, if you're listening, please send us some new music. Yeah. Uh, we haven't heard we love your stuff. We haven't heard heard from you for a long time. Mm-hmm. Anyway. Classic track today, Baz and Guitar, this is called She Gives a Smile. She gives a smile And it seems to change the light You like to ask her out But doubt just fills his mind Step up to the plate man And grab life while you can There ain't no record, no reruns Come on, make a stand He sees his chance now And his heart beats racing fast He musters all of his courage Now it's time to defeat his past Step up to the plate, man, and grab life while you can. There ain't no record, no reruns. Come on, make a stand. Shy boy won his battle And changed his old ways You stood up to the white man And you grabbed life with both hands No record, no rooms You made a stand Made a stand 
stood up to the plate man And you grab life with both hands Ain't no cause, no reasons You took your chance You took your chance And that was Baz and Guitar with She Gives a Smile. Classic. Classic track for the Tuesday show. One man, one guitar, and his name is Baz. <laughs> What's his other guitar called? Uh, I don't know. Oh, yeah, never mind. Hmm. Yeah. I'm sure there's a joke in there somewhere. No, well, it used to be. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Why can't you make clothes out of cheese? I don't know. Because fromage phrase. Fromage... Phrase, phrase. Yeah. Why can't you make what? What was the question? Why can't you make clothes out of cheese? <laughs> oh, this from our phrase. Right. Can we do that one again? <laughs> oh, stop the world. Oh yeah, I got it now. <laughs> that's, that's that's really funny. Yes, it is. Yeah. yeah. What's a pirate's favourite cheese? I don't know. What's a pirate's favourite cheese? Cheddar. 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 So uh, <laughs> yeah. When was the last time? Apart from tonight. Where we were recording and eating cheese. Are you eating more cheese? Give me cheese. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, mm. Apart from tonight mm. and today, where we clearly bought and eaten cheese, mm. when was the last time you ate cheese? Um, this morning. What did you have this morning, if you yeah. don't mind me asking? It, I had a jalapeno focaccia. What's that? Bread. Okay. We, weren't we talking about it earlier? We, we were, for some reason. Hmm. Uh, and that had cheese on it. Okay. So technically, that was the last cheese that I had. Yeah. Apart from the cheese I've just had. Hmm. What about before then? Do you remember? I don't know. Um. What was I doing yesterday? When did I have my last cheese? <laughs> <laughs> I can't even think what I had for dinner. I was like, I barely remember what I had for breakfast. So, no. Yeah. <laughs> Although I remember the last time I had cheese was on Friday. Was it? Yeah, when was we really? had Subway on. Hmm. I think I must have had something... And I can't remember what I had. That narrows it down. Thank, mm. you. Thank you for that. <laughs> no, it would have been last night. Okay. Because I had pizza. Ah, and cheese. Cheese on pizza. Do you know what? Cheese is essential. It is. Cheese Cheese is, is life. Cheese is life. So if you can't go without cheese... You're going to die. How do vegans even exist? Oh, God knows. I wish they did. Do vegans exist? Have you ever met one? Uh, I do know a vegan, yeah. Oh, okay. She's actually, she is really nice, but... I still don't understand the lifestyle. I, I thought I'd uncovered a massive uh, conspiracy there. <laughs> what, the vegans didn't actually vegans exist? Vegans don't actually exist. Vegans live on flat earth. <laughs> 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 oh, dear. Yeah. Um, no, I, I barely remember what I had for breakfast, but no, I do remember last time I had cheese. Yeah. Um, but no, I don't buy a lot of cheese, and I'm sure we've ex- I've, we've gone through it before and I've explained it, just because I'll just eat it. Yeah. I'll just power through cheese, because mm. it's so good. So good. Um, I was going to say something, but it's gone right out of my head what I was going to talk about. Biscuits. No, it weren't biscuits. Cheese. No, it was probably something to do with cheese. Yeah. <laughs> more more than likely. I'm, I mean, <laughs> I'm sure even the listeners could deduce that one. Yeah. <laughs> well done, Sherlock. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, jeez. It's just, we're just getting delirious now. We are, a little bit. Um, yeah, I don't really remember the last time I actually bought cheese. I mean, I've eaten a lot of cheese. Like I say, I've, I've had Subways, I've had pizzas. Well, yeah, you bought it then, didn't you? Well, okay, but actually going to the shop and buying just cheese. Yeah. Or, you know, cheese as an ingredient for something. Like a slab of cheese. Like, yeah, just a yeah. block of cheese. I don't remember. That's because you buy grated cheese. Exactly. Why wouldn't you? It's the best thing since grated cheese. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> anyway, I'll tell you what else is great. Mm-hmm. And that's Gigi Le Volpe. Mm. Um, and we've got a new tune from Gigi. Brand new from Gigi. Gigi La Fox. Yep. Mm. This is Rhythm and Soul. I just can't get you off my mind. You've got me thinking all the time. On the best we do won't come by. To get a chance to catch your eye I like your rhythm like your soul so let me a moment of your time I promise I'll make it worthwhile your city shivers down my spine I'm in your headlights so be Oh 
episode 29 of the tuesday show and don't forget to catch us on twitter at tuesday underscore podcast on instagram and facebook at the tuesday show podcast you can find ted on all of the mediums by searching at ted james media and the same for myself at cj brooks fm <laughs> you can email us as well <laughs> cj and ted at the tuesday show.co.uk but uh, that's it that was a good episode uh, my name's cj <laughs> his name's ted and we will see you next week say cheese cheese bye bye That was episode 29, was it? Do it again. Yes, it was.